Hello and welcome back to Betrayer. We need to free all of the lost souls before we can go and do battle or talk. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. Shoo. I don't need more money and I have probably the best weapons. We just need to go and find all of the shades and all of the lost souls and just send them away. Get rid of them. Stop them from being such a bloody nuisance. And that should make the last fight easier. But as I have bothered to go through and do all of the stories, it seems worthwhile to just do this. And you're along for the ride. Because, you know, that's what you signed up for. Whether you know it or not. Okay, I don't really care. You can escape if he wants. It's just another arrow I don't have to fire. Oh, come on, where are you? There you are. Shoo! Shoo, be gone. Get out of here. Roger Emery, I can sever the bonds that... Set, that keep you here and set you free. I wish I could wipe away my daughter's tears that I could see her smiling and carefree like she was before we came here. It is useless to wish for things to be other than they are. They were. Release the guilt and worry that bind you and be at peace. Hmm. Is there actually any point in cursing them to torment? But is that just to be cruel? But surely the point is, is that they were all cruel to each other in life and as such they're stuck in death. So surely by tormenting them I'm just going to be stuck here. I don't want that. <laughs> That's pointless. I don't need to be stuck in this horrible world forever. I want to leave. Whoever my character is. I've decided that they want to leave. It doesn't matter what you did. I'm giving you forgiveness. Now get lost. <laughs> You can be forgiven as long as you agree to never come back. You massive jerks. I don't think that's the best way to phrase this. What I should say to all of them. But unfortunately that's not an option. Shoot. Don't care. Don't care. Out of my face. No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm not interested in you today, Mr. Skeleton. Hello? Yes? Get lost. No, shoo. Yeah, you can't. Get lost. Right. World map. Outlying settlement. You can get out of there. We don't need no wraiths or spirits wandering around causing trouble. There's just no need to do this. There's no point in you s sitting around like idiots. No, uh, yes, I'm afraid I don't care. Um, <laughs> I have no interest in you, Mr. Conquistador. Go away. No, don't care. Shoo. He's at peace. And I've got an, an achievement. That doesn't matter. We're freeing everybody. And then if there is a boss fight, perhaps it'll die in like one arrow. That would be fantastic. I was like, what have you done? Well, I shot you after freeing all of the souls. So, you know, enjoy. Uh, there's only the one more. Come on. Get out of here, you. Yeah, I don't care. Has your skull been taken? Were you murdered? I'm not interested. Go away. Shoo. Be gone. World map. Fort St George. Uh, there's only three of you. Cool. Fort Hope is probably the biggest settlement, so I guess it's the larger area. With the most wraiths. 
No, there might be lots in the sort of that first fort that we come to. I'm not sure. I wonder if we'll ever meet the merchant. I'd like, I quite like to meet the merchant. He's the only really helpful person we've had along. I mean, you know, the, the, the woman we read is interesting, provides actual story, but at the same time, she has done basically nothing to help. Despite the fact that we know she's good with a bow. You know, but... Uh... Oh yeah, that thief. No? I'm busy. Charity Hammond is at peace. The thief escaped, don't care. Must not remain here any longer. You cannot change what happened. Go away. And other direction. Cool. Quick sprint out into the wild. To shoo this last person away. That seems like a plan to me. I wonder how difficult this game would be without the map. I mean, I guess it would just be a pain in the arse, wouldn't it? Okay, seriously, I'm just... Just terrible shooting. Exhibited there? Don't mind that. Just... Just shooting my arrows. Uh, into the barn roof as opposed to the wall. Because why not? Best thing to do. I can barely hit the ground. Hello. Go away. Shoo. Get lost. Bloody. Bloody people. Lurking. Tobias Hammond is at peace. Marvellous. Yeah, these fellas didn't wake up actually, which is interesting. The stone ones here didn't bother. I guess it was just him. <laughs> that one last guy. Right, you. Get lost. Nope. The harm you do cannot be undone. Shoo. Hilltop camp. Right, you. Get out of here. You're a pain in the ass. You've caused too many problems, all of you. You can leave now. Unless you cause another. I mean, that's, that's basically what this episode is. It's just me shooing ghosts. Just get out of here. Go on. Get, go away. <laughs> Being a pain in the ass. Get off. Get lost. It's like a really terrible version of the Ghostbusters. Can you imagine that film if that's literally all they did? I just walked up to the ghost and said, Look, just stop. Go away. <laughs> you know. No ghost traps. No, no battling with them. Just... You know, a small, a small arm movement, like a little hand movement, just shoo. Be gone from this place, foul spirit. Actually, most of the people I'm shooing away probably deserve that title. I think there were a couple of innocents just thrown in. And that's, yeah. Oh, ring the bell. Right. There's some clown over here, isn't there? Where's that clown? Where's he gone? Oh, this is the one that randomly moved, isn't it? Like we found him stood somewhere else in the town, and then the next time you ring the bell, he's just over here for some reason. Right, get out of it. 
No, no, no. Go away. Um. Oh my god, this is miles away. What's this person just doing in the woods? I'm sorry, no. Stop this. Not interested in you. There are spirits to be shooing. Uh, yeah, this is the right sort of direction. Oh, look, he's literally. Oh, no, it's a totem. Never mind. Not literally here. Literally not. There we go. Your ambush matters little to me. How dare you are. I'll have a quick chat with you. Send you on your merry way. Go away. No, don't care. Go away. You've heard all of your stories. I've helped you all figure out who you are and why you're dead. Now please, for the love of God, just go away. Stop being a nuisance. You're cluttering up the place. Oh, I hope I don't have to say tell all of the Indians in their village to go away. That'd be a massive pain in the ass. There's just so many of them. Like all of you, get lost. I don't know what happened to you. Look. I've been dealing with literally everyone else here. There's just so many. So many mysteries to be solved. Ah, there you are. Be gone. Right. Did everyone? No, there is another. I can see there is another. Ah, hello. How did I miss you the first time? Shoot. Off you go. He's at peace. Uh, world map. Were there any spirits in the first area? I don't think there are. No? Back to the world map. Uh, the deep forest we need to visit. There's like two and one of them is in the middle of bloody nowhere. Good. Glad. It's a good place for them to be. It's what you want in spirits. Just in the woods. For no reason. Really. I mean I guess that's where they died. Sort of their own fault. Sort of not. Yeah. Either way. We can move on now. We've helped all of you idiots deal with these things. You can leave now. And help me with something. It's only fair. Shoo. Shoo. Barnaby Burden. Shoo. Okay, what else can we find? One last spirit. And more strange stomach noises from me. I wonder if the mic picks them up. That would be funny if it does. You know, I'm sure you'll all love those weird noises. They really add some spice to the videos. But yeah, it's just... Just getting rid of these people now. There's too many of them. So many bloody ghosts just wandering around. I guess this is the point actually in the game where it sort of tells you to look, just go back and gear up a bit, would you? You know, there's good loot around that you haven't picked up probably because you didn't go back in with a spade. Except I did that. Now, we're done here. You, sir. You need to be released. From whatever torment you have. And then I can buy some arrows and some bullets and things and then we'll go to the burning site. Okay? Okay. Shoot. No, you don't need to do that. Oh, I found a woman burning to the west. Attack. Yes, the Lord Governor said they must be killed of any weapons. And it must look like Savage has killed them. Pouring powder into the barrel of his musket, reloading as fast as he could as I raised my bow and released. Then he went stiff and fell sideways, an arrow in his throat. Fleeing into the woods when the fighting started, I used an arrow that caught her cloak and pinned her to a tree. She yanked herself free and kept running. I fought to run her down, but she was waiting just ahead. The shaft struck my knee and my leg buckled. I wanted to go after her, but I was wounded, an arrow from among the trees. I wish my arrow had pierced Allison's heart. 
I want to go back to Fort Hope knowing the Lord Governor will be pleased that I did as I was told. And I did well. Fate spared you from doing more harm than you did. Let go of the regrets that bind you here and be at peace. Charity Hammond is at peace. Right. All wraiths released. Job done. Drink up. Go to the village. Buy some arrows. Hello? I can't talk to any of you. Thank God for that. I'll be here all day. Right. I can't buy longbows. And I have a nice little less deck of loot to take home with me. Should I survive this endeavour? Right. Burning sight. Off I go. Actually, I'm going to quickly check. How do I throw explosives? Crouch? No, 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 no. Fire, raise weapon. B! Cool. That's literally going to be as much of this fight as I can have it be. Just explosives. That I've, what, used n never? Maybe once, just to see? Shoo. You are of no interest to me now, little thief. We have something significant to do. Okay. So she summoned some skeletons. A weak thief. Thief escapes. Cool. You done yet? Tabitha Markley. Tabitha? He's gone. No, he betrayed you. Why am I being punished? You cannot undo what was done. You must surrender your regrets and be at peace. I only want to forget. To forget that my child is dead inside of me. Never to be born. I long to sleep without dreaming, never to awaken. Then forget and sleep, for you must not remain here. I cannot be free, she will not let me. Alison? I want to fall into darkness, never to surface, but she won't release me. Then I must convince her to. World map. Fort Hope. The fort. Okay. One last chat. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to quickly drink this. Drink, drink. Ooh. It seems she is bound here by you. We are born together. Must we also die together? I don't think so. But how can you be freed while I live? You must release her. How can I? She is my sister. I cannot scare her so easily from my memory. Nor would I, for I would rather die than forget her. You don't have to forget her. You must say goodbye. 
Very well. I'm ready to leave when you are. An attack. Hold on you when I can. Be careful. Don't worry. An attack? What? Hello? I mean, this isn't particularly challenging because there's a health thing right there. That is what I would say. Well, not to worry. Never mind. And drink. Yes. How? Don't mind me, just wandering out here. Cool. Drink up. <laughs> Anyone else? Any more for any more? Are we done yet? No? Yes? Maybe? Anyone out here? We seem to be, uh. Oh no. Is that it? Can be done? I guess we're done. Well then. Well. Right. Oh, I can't buy anything. I guess we're not done. Anyone out the back here? Anyone, anyone lurking? I don't see anyone lurking around. Anyone out the front then? Nom. Just drink as we pass. No, I, I guess we're done. Cool. All map. Indian village. Let's go. Stranger noises continue. Investigation. Oh, it's daytime. Neat. Burning sites. Is this a way? Can't buy any more, so I guess I don't need to. I guess we just keep on going. I run, run, run to the burning sites. It's no longer night, but it is day. Oh, here we are. Oh, you made a grave. That of Mark Lee, beloved sister. All clues found. I'm glad to see you safe. I laid it to rest. I thought I should be the one to do it. You've already done more than enough. It never occurred to me that I would have to live without her someday. Or that I could. I mean, we're always inseparable. Did I mention we were twins? I wish it could have been me, that I had been the one to suffer in her place, that she had lived. Please forgive me. Oh, for goodness sake. Betrayer! <laughs> oh dear. Well, it's credits. We finished the game. Presumably. 
Oh, there we go. That was pretty fun. I'm glad I played that. It's probably the first game I've actually completed on my channel. So there we go. But yeah, I guess I need to find another new one now. Good lord. You know? I finished... I stopped with Dungeons of Dreadmore. Now I've finished another game. I'm just gonna... gonna have to go through all the games on my Steam list again. And see if I can find a fun one to play. And strange, strange stomach noise. Good. Continues. I mean, you probably can't hear that, so I probably sound insane when I say that. But that's just fine, I guess. Nope. Oh. Saving. You've reached the end of the adventure, but you're free to continue to explore. Huh. Well, there we go. Thank you for watching uh, this episode of Betrayer. And presumably the series, unless you've just come to see the ending. Which you might have done. I don't know. But yeah, it's been a fun one. Glad I played. Uh, I guess we'll be moving on to a new game in the future. But I cannot tell you what that would actually be. So, see you then.